Eight years ago today, a moment that changed the face of Taiwanese politics and heralded a worldwide shift in perspective. On March 18, 2014, demonstrators stormed the Taiwan's legislature and stayed there for 23 days, the first time it had ever been occupied by citizens. They were there to protest the cross-strait service trade agreement, a treaty brokered between Beijing and the Kuomintang government that would open sensitive industries to Chinese investment. For the students who led the charge, it was a life-changing moment, and, for many, the first taste of a career in politics. The movement's success in shelving the agreement propelled a new generation into politics, forming their own parties, or being absorbed by the then-opposition Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP. The opposition party at that time, the DPP, has been in power before. They have recent resources, can, they can absorb these young people, and they can groom them to be uh, electable politicians. And he actually strengthened the, the DPP and help it to recruit new members and new leaders, new generation. And I, I, I think they are, they are going to uh, take um, the leadership role sooner or later, and many of them are already elected. But the legacy of the Sunflower Movement wasn't just felt in Taiwan. It influenced Hong Kong's umbrella movement, which erupted later the same year, and presaged a sea change in how the rest of the world viewed China under its increasingly aggressive and authoritarian new leader, Xi Jinping. China's rise used to be perceived as a welcoming, uh, welcome uh, constructive forces. But everything changed with Xi Jinping. I, I think that in 2018, there was a new narrative about sharp power that really changed the Western's image of the, the China. But in Taiwan and Hong Kong, I think what ha happened in these two societies were actually predating the world change. Eight years after the fact, the Sunflower Movement has gone down in history as a pivotal moment in Taiwan's democratic development. But it's not just a matter of history. Its impact and the people involved continue to shape Taiwan to this day. Ryan Hill Kilpatrick for Taiwan Plus.